Hello everyone. Today, inshallah, we are going to continue studying lesson two, graphic representation of moving in a straight line, part two. In the previous part, we explain how we can use graphs and tables to represent motion in a straight line and the importance of graphs and tables. In this part, we are going to study a new concept, which is acceleration. What is a concept of acceleration? As we see here, a car starts motion from rest its speed equals zero. Then, the speed of the car increases to reach three meter per second after one second. Then, the speed of the car increases to reach. 6 meter per second after another second, then 9 meter per second in the third second and increases to reach 12 meter per second after the fourth second. So the speed of the car here increases as the time passes. The car accelerates, which means the speed changes as the time passes increases. So in each one second, the speed of the car increases by 3 meter per second. So we can define acceleration it is the change of an object's speed in one second or it is the rate of change of speed rate of a change here means the time taken to change a speed we can write the previous definition in the form of rule acceleration equal change in speed divided by the time taken to change the speed here this triangle is a Latin letter which known as delta. Delta here means the change of any physical quantity, which means the speed here has two values, initial value and final value. We have here initial speed and final speed. The difference between them known as delta V. So we can write the relation in another form acceleration equal final speed v2 minus initial speed v1 divided by the time taken to change the speed so a equal v2 minus v1 divided by t to find acceleration a equal delta v divided by t to find change in a speed delta v which is equal v2 minus v1 delta v equal acceleration times time to find the time t equal delta v divided by acceleration units of acceleration for example we can get the unit of acceleration by using the rule we will put the speed unit divided by time units if the speed measured in meter per second and the time measured in seconds so the unit of acceleration will be meter per second square so the first unit meter per second square and the other unit will be kilometer per hour square if the speed measured in kilometer per hour and the time measured in hour we have here a problem if a bus moves in a straight line its speed changes from 8 meter per second to 20 meter per second within a period of time equal 3 seconds. What is the amount, the value of acceleration? Solution, we are going to write the given v1 initial velocity equal 8 meter per second, v2 final velocity 20 meter per second and the time equal 3 seconds. So we will write the rule, the relation used to solve this problem acceleration equal v2 minus v1 divided by time of a change which is delta t v2 equal 20 and v1 equal 8 divided by the time equal 3 so we can find the acceleration equal 4 meter per second square now we are going to talk about uniform acceleration assume that an object starts movement from rest and in a straight line and assume that we record its speed every five seconds in the following table. Here, time in second and speed in meter per second. Here, 
the object starts motion from rest to because the initial speed equals zero and after five seconds the speed becomes 10 10 20 meter per second after 15 seconds 30 20 seconds 40 25 seconds 50 meter per second and 30 seconds 60 meter per second so now the question does the object speed increases during the movement as we see in the table 0 10 20 30 40 so the speed increases as the time passes so the answer will be yes what is the value of increase in the object speed every five seconds here the time increases in each time by five 0 to 5 from 5 to 10 and from 10 to 15 increases 5 and the speed increases by 10 in each time so the value of increase in the object speed every 5 seconds equal 10 meter per second now finally what is the value of the object acceleration during this time to find acceleration we will find delta v which is v2 which is 60 minus initial speed which is 0 divided by the time of a change which is 30 minus 0 so 60 divided by 30 equal 2 meter per second square uniform acceleration it is a change of the object speed by equal value through equal periods of time change of the object speed by equal values through equal period of time change here it may be increase or decrease in the object speed we have here very important notes if the body starts its movement from rest in this case final initial speed equals zero if the object stops the final speed equal zero v2 equals zero if the object moves with uniform speed acceleration equals zero there is no acceleration for an object moves with uniform speed why because the speed doesn't change as the time passes when the speed is constant uniform there is no acceleration why because the speed doesn't change as the time passes if the driver uses a brakes in this case acceleration has a negative sign problem two a car can move from stationary position rest and its speed reaches 180 km per hour through 10 seconds. Calculate the acceleration of the car. Now we are going to write the given v1 equals 0, initial velocity equal initial speed equals 0, and final speed equal 100 km per hour, and the time taken equal 10 seconds. Here we have a problem. What is the problem? The time measured in seconds while the speed measured in kilometer per hour there is a different units for time seconds and hour so first we are going to convert usually we convert velocity from kilometer per hour to meter per second so v2 equal 180 times 5 over 18 this fraction we use it to convert the value of speed between kilometer per hour and meter per second so to find the speed in meter per second 180 times 5 over 18 it will give you 50 meter per second acceleration to find acceleration we will write the rule used to calculate acceleration v2 minus v1 divided by time final velocity minus initial velocity divided by the time and we will put the numbers here 50 minus 0 divided by 10 it will give you the acceleration of the car which is 5 meter per second square so the car here accelerates by 5 meter per second in each one second notes when the car speed increases as the time passes in this case final speed will be greater than initial speed which means the car speed increases as time passes so the movement described as accelerating motion or positive acceleration we can represent positive acceleration graphically by using this graph a relation between velocity and time represented by a straight line here the object moves with accelerating motion we can write here for this graph a comment like this graph the object moves with 
accelerating motion or positive acceleration. We have here another case when the car speed increases by time. In this case, its final speed, V2, less than its initial speed, V1. So the movement described as decelerating motion or negative acceleration, which means the speed of the car decreases as time passes. We can represent it graphically by drawing this graph between velocity and time. Here, this graph represents an object moves with decelerating motion or negative acceleration. Here, we have a comparison between types of uniform acceleration. Positive acceleration, it is acceleration in which the object speed increases by equal value through equal period of time. It is the same definition for uniform, but we replace the word changes with the word increases. When the object moves with positive acceleration, final speed is greater than initial speed. Positive acceleration will have a positive sign and the motion described as accelerating motion and represented by this graph. The other type, negative acceleration. If the acceleration in which the object speed decreases by equal values through equal period of time, we replace the word changes with the word decreases. The same definition for uniform acceleration, but we replace the word changes with decreases. When the object moves with negative acceleration, final speed will be smaller than initial speed. It has a negative sign, negative acceleration. The motion described as decelerating motion and they're presented graphically like this. Finally, we have zero acceleration. This is acceleration in which the object speed is constant, doesn't change as the time passes. So the final speed will equal to the initial speed. There is no acceleration, so represented by this graph, straight line parallel to the time axis. Note, give reason. The object moves at uniform speed, its acceleration equals zero. Why? This graph represents an object moves with regular or uniform speed, graph between speed and time because the speed doesn't change as the time passes. We have here another question. What is meant by, what is meant by the following? A body moves by acceleration five meter per second square. Here, the object speed increases. This means that the speed of the body increases by five meter per second in each second. So, we say that speed of the body increases. Why increases? Because it is positive by 5 meter per second each one second. Here we have another question. A body moves by acceleration negative 2 meter per second square, which means this means that the speed of the body decreases by 2 meter per second each second. Speed decreases. Why decreases? Because we have here a negative sign, which means negative acceleration. So the speed of the car decreases as the time passes. Notes. The ratio between final speed and initial speed for an object moves with positive acceleration is more than one. Why? Because here final speed is greater than initial speed. So Final speed divided by the ratio between final speed and initial speed will be greater than 1. If the object moves with negative acceleration, the ratio between final speed and initial speed will be less than 1. Why? Because final speed will, less than, will be less than initial speed. If the object moves with uniform speed, zero acceleration, in this case, the ratio between final speed and initial speed equal to 1. Why? Because final speed and initial speed are equal. This is the end of uh, this lesson. See you soon, inshallah, and goodbye.